Everyone, welcome to our Gautam Common Elementary School. You can feel the warmth and life of spring filling our school. See these flowers that we recently planted ourselves. Can't you just imagine colorful butterflies fluttering around these beautiful flowers? Look at these bright and active kids. You can really feel their playful energy. We look forward to seeing you guys rock at Super Kids. Make us proud, you Kwame students. Rara, Kwame! Welcome, viewers from all over the world and all over Korea. I've got the great students from Kwa Chun Kwanwoon Elementary School. They're revved up and ready to go, aren't you guys? Let's go! First step today, aptly named 60 seconds because each team has 60 seconds to solve the problems. Hints are given. You have to match words with those hints. Each team has randomly chosen categories. We shall see how well they know those categories, how many they can solve. Of course, we have a perfect 10. That is the maximum. We've got 10 participants. If they don't know it, they can pass. And of course, the shoulders of the next teammate might get a little bit heavier. If they get it right, well, the other participants, the shoulders get a little bit lighter because that's less to solve. Okay, let's see what team has, or what category our first team has chosen. What's your category? Wedding. <gasps> wedding? Have you ever been to a wedding before? Yes. And was it exciting or not so exciting? Uh, boring. Boring, okay. Well, maybe someday you have an exciting wedding. Right now we've got an exciting round. Let's begin. The dress that the bride is wearing. Wedding dress. A vacation to celebrate their marriage. Oh, uh, honeymoon. Flowers that the bride holds during the wedding. Bouquet. The couple places these on each other's finger. Ring. People use this to take pictures during the wedding. Camera. Korean traditional clothes. Humble. The guests choose their own food. Uh, uh. The groom wears this black suit. Perfect. A letter asking the person to attend a wedding. Uh, pass. The woman who is getting married. The guests choose their own food. Uh, buffet. The groom wears this black suit. Oh! They're not married yet. Maybe someday in the future. They did very, very well. A total of seven points. Let's have the next team. The first team did very well. I'm sure our second team will also do well. You may notice that all the categories have a little mix. Something a little bit Eastern, something a little bit Western. We even had Hanbok, the Korean dress, in the first category of wedding. We shall see what our next category is. What is our next category? Calendar. Calendar. What kind of things do you think of when you hear calendar? Christmas. What about a Korean holiday? New Year's. Okay, we shall see which holidays, which things show up in your calendar section. Let's begin. 
May 5th is this day. Children's Day. August 15th is when Korea celebrates its liberation from Japan. Independence Day. Korea's Thanksgiving holiday. <laughs> the day you were born. Uh, first day. Friday, Saturday, and then? Sunday. The day you give chocolate to your loved ones. Valentine's Day. You express your respect to your father and mother on this day. Parents' Day. You receive presents from Santa Claus on this day. Christmas. The day that the Korean alphabet was introduced. Teacher's Day. You give your teacher a carnation on this teacher's day. Teacher's Day. Korea's Thanksgiving holiday. Chuseok. The day the Korean Hangul alphabet... Day. Yeah! <laughs> a perfect 10! Great job. What an excellent mix and what an excellent job. 10 points, like I said. Little East, Little West. We got Christmas. We had Thanksgiving Day or Chuseok. Fantastic. Well, thank you. Great job. Let's have the next team. <laughs> two teams down, two to go. Let's meet our third team. All right, what is your category? Our category is home. Home, home sweet home. Well. How many points do you expect Ten to get? Ten points. Ten points. Excellent <laughs> goal. Let's see if that uh, goal is attainable. Go! A room with a toilet and bathtub. Be uh, bathroom? You rest your head on this while sleeping. Pillow. An opening that lets in air and light. Window. Your mom cooks in this Kitchen. room. You sleep in this which has four legs. Bed. Your clothes are stored in this. Oh, closet. You sit in front of this furniture to study. Desk. We have to open this to get inside a room. Door. We turn this on during the summer to make a breeze. Fan. You look at this to know the time. Clock. Who needs 60 seconds? I think we should change this corner to maybe 30 seconds or something. <laughs> they did a great job, of course. You saw it. 10 points. A perfect yes! score. Excellent. The next team, come on out. <laughs> These guys are good. Two perfect 10 so far. Let's see how well our final team does. And let's see what their category is. What is your category? Library. Do you spend a lot of time at the library? Yes. <laughs> mm, how often do you go? Mm, Sunday. Sunday, all right. I gotta tell you, I love the libraries in Korea. They're always packed. There's no place to sit down. Let's see if you can get all 10 and let's begin. This is published every day. Library card. You need this to take books home. Oh, pass. If you don't know a word, you look up the meaning in this. Uh, dictionary. A person who takes care of the books in the library. A uh, librarian. A person who studies. Student. A machine that sells candy bars or soft drinks. Vending machine. You sit in this and study. Chair. You can look up books or use the internet with this. Computer. Books are placed on these. Barcode. Books have electronic numbers on it. Barcode. This is published every day. Li uh, new paper? Newspaper. You need this to take books home. Library card. Shelf. Books are placed. Oh, yeah. She snuck it in. She got it. It's like. When you know there's only one left, you just say what it is. And that's exactly what you did. Great job, of course, they got a perfect 10. Excellent job, guys. Let's go to the next round.
I don't know what letter will come out. I don't know what stellar words these guys will write down, but I do know a few things. They're going to try to fill the board with great words. Now they will avoid abbreviations, avoid uh, proper nouns, avoid misspellings, and be careful with those plurals. We have two teams they have randomly chosen to do battle against each other. On this side is Apple Team. They got seven points in the first round, not too shabby. And on this side we have the Kiwi Team. They had a perfect 10. Now in the past we've had some flip-flops. Doesn't matter, three points, that can be overcome easily. Will the 10-point team maintain the lead or will it be overturned? We shall see. Okay guys, your goal of course, to fill the board. Let's see what letter we'll start with. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, it is. Okay. Kind of stuck. Not that easy. But they're going good. Don't have the same ones. Better hurry up. Okay, Apple team's kind of off to a slow start. Let's see how well the Kiwi team does or is doing. Okay. Having some pen problems. Doing pretty good. All right. Teamwork here, brainstorming. Not a lot of time left. The minute is going by. Okay. Got the guys and the girls. Let's see, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop running, stop running, okay, stop running, stop, 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 stop. stop running. Okay, they have stopped, they have stopped. It's over. Now it's time for me to use my pen and calculate how many they got right. Let's do it. Okay, let's check it out. Apple team, how well they did. I won't see that one. Good job. Good job. All right. Now let's see how well Kiwi did. Okay. All right. Apple team, very good. They had seven points coming in. Adding 16 to that makes a total of 23. Okay, looking at the Kiwi team, they had 10 points. Adding on 21 is a total of 31, which means Kiwi is moving on to the next <laughs> round. That's right, it's Kiwi. Good job, guys. Good job, excellent job. Two more teams ready to do battle and ready to challenge themselves. Similar to the last two teams, they have chosen randomly. And as you can see, the challenge really is not only how many words you can write, but also not writing the same words because there's only two pens per team and they're trying to brainstorm and write down as many words as possible, often saying the same words and writing the same words down. On this side, we have Lemon Team. Perfect score in the first round, 10 points. Also with a perfect score on this side is Orange, 10 points. Will the tie be broken? Of course. Only one team can move on. Let's have the letter. L, go, 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 L, 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 L. L. Oh, it's the lemon team writing L words. Pretty good. All right. Uh-huh. Not bad. Ooh, we've got a swap of the baton here. Oh, Ooh, they know their L words because they're the lemon team. Okay, let's check out the orange team. Uh, see some erasing going on. Very vocal. Some hesitation. Right. Not a lot of time left. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, it's pretty exciting. 10, 5, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, put down your pen! Put down your pen! No, 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 no,
Okay, I had to take one of the pens away. Very good job. Now I'm gonna use this pen to mark. Let's see how many L words the lemon team wrote down. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Okay, both teams not too bad. They both had 10 points coming in, so the tie had to be broken. On this side, Lemon had an additional uh, 28, so 38 total. And on this side, Lemon, with 10 points to begin with, added 17, 27, 38. I think that it's the Lemon team. Moving on to the next round! <laughs> My, I'm so nervous looking at my schoolmates receiving such hard questions. Don't you worry, I can both do just fine. Then, shall we start our special cheering event that we've prepared for the contestants? Wait, before that, let's stop by the student services room. What kind of room is that? <laughs> where students come for counseling and they can also get together with other friends and share their problems. Thank God we have these caring teachers who are always ready to lend us an ear to listen. We really appreciate their full support. Mmm, something smells nice. Where is this smell coming from? From here, where we prepared the special event. Wow, it seems our school has a lot of chefs to be. It looks like they are preparing a special dish. Let's go closer and see what it's going to be. These kids have got together to show us a wonderful performance. As you can see, the whole school is rooting for your guys. So all of you, just do your best. Common elementary students are capable of doing anything. Cheers, Common Elementary! <laughs> Balance, one of my favorite words, and the reason that this is one of uh, my favorite programs is because it's so balanced. That's right, Arirang and the Super Kids, the goal, bringing the best of the world to Korea, bringing the best of Korea to the world. And studying too is not easy. Study, 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 but if you do it in a fun way, well, there's that balance. Well, let's see, in this round, we have 20 folks gonna be knocked down until there are five. Our first step is to get 10, the perfect 10 we mentioned earlier. Perfect 10. We have 20, getting to 10. Well, how do we eliminate them? They'll be asked questions on a book. They've been given that book to study in advance. Hopefully it was enjoyable studying and fun. That's right, nice balance. Let's see what that book was. Robinson Crusoe, who went to sea for an adventure, found himself stranded on an island all alone. But instead of living in despair, he learned how to overcome loneliness and fear 
Let's find out more about our courageous friend, Robinson Crusoe, and his adventure for life right now. Right now. Okay, let's do that. Robinson Crusoe, we're going to find out how much you know about the book, the story. First, let's have two contestants come on out. <laughs> Number one, I got to ask this question. Did you read the book? Yes. How many times? Um, three. Three times. Excellent. And how about you, number 11? How many um, times? Three. Three times as well. Did you guys both enjoy it? Yes. yes. All right. Let's see how much you enjoy this question. Who is the writer of Robinson? <laughs> Whoa, number one, fast on the trigger. What's your answer? Um, Daniel Defoe. That's right. <laughs> number one. Being helped out by that large yellow bear. <laughs> Number two, did you like the story? Yes. Pretty enjoyable? Yes. Okay, good. And how about you, number 12? Did you enjoy the story too? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun? Okay. I don't know how fun this question is, but good luck. Which country is Robinson Caruso? Number 12. England. That's right. Number 12 is in. It's never easy. Hi, number three. Do you like reading books? Yeah. Do you read often? Mm, yes. Okay, how about you, number 13? Do you like to read books? A little bit. A little bit. Don't like to read that much. Okay, good. Here's a question for you. Crusoe meets pirates and becomes their slave. Then, which country was he taken to? All right, he meets pirates, becomes their slave, and he's taken to a country. Number 13, your answer. Morocco. That's right. Number 13 is in. Morocco. I have not been there. Hi, number four. How often do you read books? Uh, one a week? Three. Three books a week. Wow. How about you, number 14? How many books do you think you read a week? Five. Five. All right. Let's see how well they do with this question. What is the name of the black slave boy that lived at the pirate's house? Yes, number 14. Ismail. Ah. No, that's not it. Yes, number four. Shuri. That's right. Number four is in. Very good job. You got your star headband there. Hi, number five. Are you ready? Yeah. You like the book? Yes. Good. Number 15, you also like the story? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's see if they're truly ready. In his second year as a slave, what did the pirate order Caruso to catch and bring home to serve his guests? What could it be? In his second year as a slave, the pirate ordered Caruso to buy something, bring it home, serve the guests. Yes, number 15. Fish. That's right. Number six. What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is PE. PE, you like sports? Yes. All right. Number 16, <laughs> do you like sports? Yes. Do you have a favorite sport? Mm, volleyball. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully you guys are warmed up and ready for this question. Caruso realizes he is the only survivor on the island. Where did he climb up in order to be safe from animals? Yes, number six. On the tree. Correct, very good job. You are in. Oh yeah. Seven and 17 sounds like you have some fans. You have some friends there in the audience? Yes. Yeah? Mm, what do you like to do with your friends, number seven? Um, I like to play games. Play games? Okay. And how about you, 17? 
Play soccer. Play soccer, okay. Very good. Here are some, or here's a question. See if you can play with it. What animal did Caruso train to talk? All right, number 17. Parrot. That's right. Parrot is correct. I used to have a parrot. Number eight, how did you like the book? Pardon? Did you enjoy it? Yes. All right, and how about you, 18? Was it boring? Was it okay? Was it exciting? How was the book? Exciting. Exciting, all right. Here's the question. After 11 years of being alone on an island, what did Caruso call his house? Yes, number Castle. 18. That's right. Castle. Castle is correct. Getting closer and closer to the final 10. Number nine. How you feeling? Nervous. Okay, how about you, number 19? How you feeling? Yeah. Pretty good? Yes. All right. Here's a question for both of you. Robinson Caruso wrote September 30th, 1659 on a tree trunk to record his life on the island. What did he use to write the words on the tree? What did he use? Was it a pen? Like you used to fill the board? Number nine. Knife. That's right. Number nine is in. Very good job. Number 10 and number 20. Only one can be in and one must go out. We shall see who it is. You guys ready? Number 10, you ready? Yes, sir. And number 20, you too? Yes. All right, here's your question. Caruso had a daily schedule on the island. What did he do from noon to two o'clock every afternoon? Take a nap. That's right. Very good. Very good indeed. Are you ready for a high five? Because only five can move on to the next round. That's right. We've got 10 right now. Got to eliminate down to five. We've got those random choices done, out of the way. And questions we have, they're upgraded, more difficult. So the wheat is separated from the shaft. Okay, let's have two come on out right now. Fifteen, you are the first two. We've got five spots open. Number four, you think you're gonna get one of those spots? Uh, yes. Okay, fifteen. Do you think you'll get it? Yeah. Oh, they both think they're gonna get it. I like the confidence. Let's see how confident they are in answering this question. Robinson Caruso's first trip started when he met a friend at a port. He was able to get on the ship for free because the ship belonged to his friends. Number 15. Father. That's right. Move on to the brain power position. Very good job. One spot is filled. Four more left. Two more. Come on out. As you can see, guys, it's not that easy. How are you feeling, number one? I'm nervous. A little bit nervous? Yes. How about you, number 10? How are you feeling? Uh, not very good. Not very good? Well, you look fantastic. I love those Shrek ears. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Listen to the following conversation between Crusoe and Zuri. Zuri, I'll go and kill that blank right away. Yes, number one. Lion. You are correct. Move on to the next round. Two spots are taken. Three more to go. Two more contestants, come on up. All right, number 12. Let me ask you what your favorite subject is. My favorite subject is math. Math, okay. And how about you, number 18, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is science. Science, math and science. All right, 
Here's a question for you. Zuri wanted to keep the lion's head as a souvenir, but received the lion's blank instead. Yes? Paul. You're right! You move on to the next round! Congratulations! Okay. Two more. Come on out! Hi, number nine. What do you like to do in your free time? Play computer games. Play computer games? Okay. And how about you, uh, Mr. Mouse, number 17? What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, play soccer. Play soccer. Okay, you mentioned that earlier. Future soccer player of Korea, we shall see. Who gets this question as well? We shall see. In his 25th year on the island, Crusoe saved a man and named him Blank because he was saved on that day. Number nine. Friday. Yes! Thank goodness it's Friday. You move on to the next round. Congratulations. There is one more spot available. One more. We have two more contestants. Let's see who gets in that spot. Come out, guys. All right. Number six. What do you like to do on Friday on the weekends? What do you like to do? Um, I like to read Robinson Crusoe book last time. Okay. You like to read books. Very good answer. <laughs> okay, how about you, number 13? What do you like to do on the weekends? I like to play computer games. Play computer games, obviously. Computer games, soccer, reading books, favorites here. Good luck with this question. Robinson Crusoe was on the island for blank years. Yes! 27. You're right! You move on to the final spot! Congratulations! Oh my goodness. You guys have done a fantastic job so far. Those five spots are taken, and now it's time to turn the heat up and see who moves on to the final round and see if we have a super kid today. Stay tuned, it's gonna be exciting! And now the time has come to use your brains and use that power. That's right. The goal to be the last person standing. There are five right now. All have 100 points. That's what you start with. But only one can move on. Maximum points is what you want to get. Use your powerful brains. But also speed is important as well because knowing is one thing, but also pushing that button and giving the right answer. Right now, I got to tell you, you each have a double chance. Just one. If you use it, you can double the value of the question. That's right, if it's 30 points, it could be 60. Let's meet our contestants, our final high five here in the number one spot. With number one, of course, is Jaehoon. Yes, Jaehoon number one. Next to Jaehoon is number six. That is Yewon, pretty in pink. Number nine, our tall guy is Uje. And next to Uje is Young Jun, number 12. Finally, a tall lady with the number 15 is Chung Yoon. As you can see, there's 10, 20, and 30 point questions. All very tough, of course. When there are more points, it becomes more difficult. I'm gonna warm us up. It's worth 10 points with a question from the numbers category. Let's take a listen. Here is the numbers question. The following sentences each tell you a number. Figure out what they are and give us the total. The years of elementary school education in Korea. The number of players in a soccer team. Number one, Jaehoon. 11. Number 12. 17. 
That's right. <laughs> Young June on the board with 10 points. Very good. I have a feeling you like soccer. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite soccer player? My favorite soccer player is Park ji -sung. Do you have a favorite color? I like red. How come? Because of Red Devils. Ah, I definitely like soccer. Future soccer player, a so soccer powerhouse in the world, Korea. And uh, you're obviously a powerhouse too. Please choose a category. 10 jobs. <laughs> jobs for 10 points? All right, listen carefully. This is a Korea Meteorological Administration, a place that tells us the weather forecast every day. There are so many machines that are used for weather observations. Even satellites and radars are used for weather analysis and forecasting. This is the National Forecast Bureau. The people working here observe the wind condition, possibilities of rain, and other weather conditions. 일기예보는 우리의 생명과 재산을 보호해주는 소중한 기상 정보입니다. 왜냐하면 태풍이 온다거나 비가 많이 온다거나를 미리 사전에 알려주어서 대피하게 하고 또 일상생활에서 아주 유용하게 사용하고 있습니다. Weather forecasters predict the weather by looking at these computers. With all the data gathered, they exchange their opinions before reaching a final conclusion about the weather forecast. And now, here's the question. 일기예보를 하다 보면 글 대신에 이런 공통 기호를 사용하게 되는데요. 그렇다면 다음 기호 중에서 안개를 가리키는 것은 무엇일까요? Number six. Three. Oh, oh very good job. Excellent. Number six. That's Ye one. And let me ask you, what job would you like to have in the future? I want to be an anchor. An anchor? Like anchoring the news or being an MC? Like No Hyun Jung. I see. Excellent. Working in television. Well, if it's okay with you, perhaps in the future we could do Super Kids together. Okay. All right. Excellent job. You have 10 points added to your total. Now you get to choose the category and the point value. Come on. Common for 10 points. Here's the question. What color commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank ocean. Blank. Yes, number 12. Blue. That's right. Very good job. Okay, please choose a category. Super Korea, 20 points. Super Korea for 20 points. Here's the question. Super Kids friends, can you feel the spring breeze in the air? Yup, spring has finally come. So, anyone up for a tour around an exotic museum? Then follow me, cause today I'm headed to the Latin American Cultural Center and Museum in Korea. Wow, is this really Korea? There are so many things on display at the museum, too. You can really relate to the Latin American culture just by looking at these sculptures. These ducks are actually carved out of wood, but they are firmer than stone. This is such a valuable art craft that it has to be kept in a frame. Can you believe this fabric is over 2,000 years old? What is significant about this fountain? Aha, uh -huh, I see. The answer is right there. Latin American people used to honor the sun as their god. Now, here's a question, you guys. Listen up. There are several civilizations that existed in Latin America, such as the Maya and the Aztec. Another civilization arose from Peru and flourished around the Andes mountain ranges. Keeping its center in Cusco, this civilization worshiped the sun god. What is this civilization? Number 12 again, first to press down the buzzer, your answer. Inca. 
That's right. Very good. The Incan civilization, like I mentioned earlier, Korea is always trying to bring the best of the world to Korea, the best of Korea to the world. That's why it's so international. It's amazing. You, you can see that here in Korea. All right. Number 12, it's your chance still. You have 140 points right now, and you must choose another question. Computer 30 points. Computer for 30 points. Number six, using her chance. Number 12, going for it as well. Number one. Number nine. Number 15, peer pressure. Well, only one can get it right. That means whoever gets it right, you're getting 60 points. And for everybody else, if you don't get it right, well, nothing taken away, but only once it can be used. So after this question, it's gonna be taken away. Let's hear the computer question worth 60 points. This is a scene from a UCC, which has become very popular recently. Through various UCCs, we are able to enjoy many different works from many different people. UCC is short for blank created content. Then, number 12. User created content. Yes, indeed. That's right. Because you got that right, you get not 30, but 60 points added to your total, bringing you 200. Everybody else, well, everybody actually, the chance has got to be taken away. You can only use it once. It has been used. Those who didn't get it right, minus nothing, but only number 12 gets 60 added. All right, guys, good luck to you all. Please, number 12, choose another category. Uh, places, to 20. Points. Places or palaces for 20 points. That's right, palaces for 20 points. If you have ever visited a Korean palace, you've probably seen this statue placed at the entrance. This animal looks like a lion but has a horn on its head. Big eyes. It's number nine, your answer. Hete. Very good. Uje, that's number nine. Have you ever seen one of these? No. No, okay. But do you have a favorite animal? Yes. What is it? My favorite animal is snake. A snake? Yes. Do you have a snake at home or a pet at home? No. Any pets at home? Uh, fish. Fish, okay. 20 added, 120 is now your total. Very good job. Please choose a category. Mm. Police. 30 points. Police for 30 points. Here's the question. Do you know how the police find criminals? They use drawings like these, which are made by putting together the features of the criminal's face. Policemen say that these drawings are a big help in capturing the criminals. So then, what are these drawings called? Yes. Montage. You're correct. Very good. Ye Won gets 30 points added, bringing her total to 140. Very good. Excellent answer. Pretty in pink. Ye Won, you have 140. Please choose a category. 20th century. 20th century for 20 points. Surrealist art is known for its witty and amusing images. These are some representative surrealist art pieces of this Belgian artist. He is known as the master of surrealist art, representing the 20th century. His artwork has had a great influence on the mass media to this day. Who is this artist? Number 15, Chung Yoon, your answer? Lene Ma Marguerite. Very good. Excellent job. That famous surrealist. Woo! Some crazy paintings you might see in your dreams. Okay, very good job. We've got one more category. It's a super Korea question worth 30 points. Let's see who gets this question. 
Latin America refers to the territories of Mexico, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. See all these masks? They all have different shapes and faces. Latin American people like to hold festivals and carnivals, which is why masks are so common in that region. Also, they thought these masks as a symbol of longevity. There are even masks made of stone. Very smooth. I'd like to have one of these at home. Ooh, look at these. All sorts of accessories in bronze and silver. How pretty! The people in Latin America established an agricultural life in early 7,000 BC. That's why so many bulls were found in that region. Look at all these shapes and sizes. Oh, my stomach is growling because of all the walking around. You know how much Super Dory loves to eat. Mexican's favorite food is tacos, which is made from this. This stuff. Number 12. Corn. That's right. What can I say? Number 12, very, very hot today. You get 30 points added to your total. Let's take a look at the totals. Number one, it's Chehun with 100 points. All right, number six is Ye Won with 140 points. Number nine, Uje, 120 points. Number 12, 230 points, Young Jun. And finally, Chung Yun, number 15 with 120 points. Clearly, it is number 12, Young Jun, who is moving on to the final round. Great job. Youngjun, the champion of Kwachun Kwanmin Elementary School. Great job today. How are you feeling? I'm very good. Very good. What was the toughest part so far? Brain power. Brain power is pretty tough. You know how this works? Yeah. I okay, know. for those who don't, let me remind you, there's three categories. And if you get two of the questions right, you are our champion today, a super kid. And when you choose a category, there are four hints, four things that are related to that. Let's say you choose person. And the hints are, wears glasses, big nose, host of super kids, has a nice smile. Hopefully you answer Isaac. <laughs> okay, but you're gonna choose which one you wanna answer first. Here are the categories. There's plant, person, and place. A lot of P's here. Which one would you like to answer first? Person. Okay, good luck young children. Which historical figure has something to do with the following words? Nobel Peace Prize, Calcutta, India, Nun, Love and Devotion. Okay, we want to know the name of the person. Who could this person be? Historical figure, something to do with these four words or four hints. Novel. Nope, it's Mother Teresa. Oh. That's Mother Teresa opened the home for the oh. dying in Calcutta. In 1952, she won that Nobel Peace Prize, right, known for her love and devotion, and she was a nun. Okay, now don't worry, we've got two more questions. If you get them right, you are the hero today. Please choose a category. Place. Okay. Place is your choice. Here are the hints. The following words have one place in common. What is it? John F. Kennedy, Charles de Gaulle, Inchon, Boarding Pass. All right. Given some hints there. What do you think of? You know the answer? Airport. 
Let's see, he answered airport. Is that the right answer? That's right. Very good. That's one down. Young Jun has one more chance. There's one more category left. If he gets it right, he is today's super kid. Whew. One more P to go. You got one point. You need one more, and you did it. Okay, our last category, beginning with a P, is plants. Plants. Okay, here are the hints. What plant comes to mind when you hear the following words? Peru, golden flower, Vincent van Gogh, seeds. Young Jun's thinking. I'm sorry? Sunflower. His answer is sunflower. Is that the correct answer? Let's find out. Yes, it is! Congratulations! All right! <laughs> you did it! You scared us at the beginning there. This is your prize. Good job. How are you feeling now? Very good. Okay, congratulations. You did a great job, right? Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid wins a Samsung Notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second, third, fourth, and fifth place contestants receive an MP3 player. All competitors receive a gift card from Super Kids. The prize for the Super Kid is provided by Samsung. Super Kids is produced in cooperation with ePublic. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks for coming. Sir, I'm going to give you a prize. How many times? Three. Perfect 10. Okay. Yes. 37, 38, I... Let's see. Yes. Good. <laughs> All right. School education in Korea. I used to have a point. A perfect 10! Yes? And questions we have, they are up. Now, 